Hello, hello. I'm Adam O'Day, and I'm back for another time lapse voiceover with my daughter Penny. Hi. And how old are you, Penny? Six. I believe last time when we did it, you were five and a half. So. Uh huh. So now you've developed quite a bit into a, a grown-up kid, right? In first grade. Uh huh. And wh who's your teacher? Miss Woodward. Miss Woodward, so nice. I yeah. also have another teacher. And she has, yeah, she has another teacher too. But let's talk about the painting. So as we were talking about before, when you drip, you use two different colors so you can see the drips in the blending, right? Mm-hmm. I see dark purple. I see light blue. I see light purple. I see black. I see dark <laughs> blue. I see dark purple. I see violet. So that purple went on with a brayer, which is a small roller used for printmaking, but you can use it for painting too. All right, we're not going to mess with everything on the on the desk, even though there's a lot of fun stuff on the desk. We're just going to talk about the painting. Okay. So this is a Boston brownstone, and the person that hired me to paint this lives in one of these houses. Mmm. Is that cool? I don't know what the painting is. I know, it's a mystery, right? Uh-huh. Well, I just told you it's houses, but you don't know what kind of houses. Yeah, I know. So, the underpainting process, it's basically just, I'm, I'm blocking everything in, even though this video is sort of paused right now, but it's still recording our voices. Yeah. So I'm just blocking in the main shapes and uh, the different parts of the houses and I'm gonna just take a break and see if we can get the video feedback. So we're back and I am starting to put on the color of the bricks. I see yellow, I see orange, I see red, the rainbow colors. That's a cool little rhyme you got going. I see red, I see orange, I see yellow, I see rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is nice. Now there's more yellow. And what else? Uh, windows. Windows. Stairs. So the people live in the, in the middle house. And Penny's giving me a big hug. Penny's in a huggy mood lately. And she misses her friends. And would you do you want to say anything to your friends out there if, if they're watching? Beatrix, you want to say hello to Beatrix? I hope I see you soon, Beatrix. I'm sure we will. Yay. So cool. So this is where the highlights and shadows are being added to the bricks. I see light orange, I see light yellow, and that's all I see. And I see some white bricks up top, and some gray inside, and the streets <laughs> with stairs. But check this out. You see all this texture that's going in there? Because bricks aren't smooth, are they? What are, what are bricks like? Um. Are they smooth? Heavy and rocky. They're like rough, right? So you have to make that surface of them believable, bumpy. Yeah, that's one way to do bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the back of daddy's head? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why you sometimes, like all the time, sometimes wear bumpy. A ponytail? Actually a bun. Actually a bun. I do have a bun. Actually a bun. And you're wearing one right now. Yep. Sometimes you wear a bun when you go to ballerina class. No, I don't. I wear ponytails. You never wear a bun? No. No? No. Well, I'm going to get the video feedback once again. Hold on. Now we're getting the trees. I see trees. 
And I see everything. I see. I see the sky. L listen here. I see hey, the tree. Just chill out for a second. So, when I was painting this, I kept asking my friends, "Is it is it too much purple?" I kept feeling like the I did too much purple. But now that I'm looking at it on the video, the purple is nice because the bricks are kind of golden, and purple looks good with that. So this is the finished painting, Penny. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, what's your favorite part? I like I like the um bricks. The bricks and the pinks and the oranges and the purples. Yes.